Uh, no voice? voice? You know what, Stanley? Oh. Whoa. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh, okay. <laughs> now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Um. Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might oh. be, Stanley. What? The I'm so ready weird. for it. Too many right turns there. Oh no, not you again, <laughs> Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. <laughs> Sometimes the voice reminds me of the um, bit the big head computer thing on. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Just kind of sad and depressed. Oh, here we go. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Wait, wait. So Let's I know way. that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Can I open the left one? No. Darn it. This one? Darn it. Okay. What? We, what? The confusion ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? <laughs> That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well... Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? What? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I love the word. Here we go. And we're back at the beginning. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now, are these... Were these yellow before? I don't remember them being yellow before. And where's that fern? Where's that fern? I expect... Something different, maybe. I don't know. Maybe this is a fresh start. When Stanley came to a set oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Yeah, I think this one's a fresh start. Do this. Were they yellow before, though? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we come through that door. Yet there was not ah. a single person here oh. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now, I wonder what happens oh, if we just hang out no. here for a while. Oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> Remembers. We're done? Now down, I know. Goes Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, here we go. What's this? What's this over here? Executive bathroom. Ooh! Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. All right. Extreme bathrooms. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing to see here. Including my reflection. Also, nothing to do. I feel like one of these would be like a, a wood panel that would slide away if I tap on it just right. But I guess not. Alright. What's anything over here? Nope, can't even can't even go over there. What about here? Ooh! We've got Panda with a gun to its head? Business strategy. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Shapes. Ooh. Crafts. In indoors monthly. Now that's pretty funny. With a picture of sunflowers on it. Ooh, I guess we're going up. Okay. This should be interesting. And we're going down. All right. Elevator music. Oh my gosh. Alright. So, here we are on the elevator. Uh, yep, yep. Still in the elevator. Again. Is it gonna shake and shimmy? <laughs> it's like doing nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's hilarious. Ooh, what's this one? Uh, I am the most expensive boss. <laughs> that's amazing. Alright, into the office. Oh yeah. Stepping into his place. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Let's see what happens now. Nope. What if we do... Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Try <laughs> Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. 2845. <laughs> okay, okay. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley oh, happened to what? input the correct code by sheer luck. 
amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Did those close last time? I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's continue along until we have another choice to make. Down we go to the 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 hub, the control center, the mines. This one's pretty quick. And we're almost there. There we go. Right. Here we are. Stanley walks straight ah. ahead through the large door ah. of the red mind control facility. Out we go. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. Uh. Uh. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Huh. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. That's... <laughs> Uh, ooh, this is creepy. There we go. Ooh, what are we going to find? No way you... Where are we? Okay. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Uh. Farewell, Stanley, cried oh. the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. <laughs> What's with the new narrator? Oh. Um. Um. Down we go. And yet it would be just oh. a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? What is this? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Whoa, my goodness. This is like a, it's a museum of the game. <laughs> and the two doors. What does it say? The two doors. The set of two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley's, Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Hmm. Filing cabinets. Office computers. Ooh. Got some uh, free cell on there. A database. Is Stanley on here? Do we have Stanley? Can't read it. Credits. Nice. Ooh. Who's the narrator? Kevin Brighting. Thank you, Kevin Brighting. The impeccable. Nice. Uh, so we've got stuff. Ooh. Button sounds. Uh-huh. 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 Ooh. Cool. Nope. nope. <laughs> the office. 
what else have we got in here? This looked interesting. <coughs> the office. Maintenance room. Okay, I remember that. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to lose. Okay. <laughs> words, words! Larger! Alright. Oh, what have we got here? War zone. What? What? That, that's very Tron esque. Huh. Alien base. Awesome. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it. Interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. <laughs> ah, green light. Ah, nice. This, this literally is a museum of the game. That's pretty amazing. Narrator emails. Uh huh. Uh huh. Some. This <laughs> is some random emails. All right. The lounge. An early version of the lounge. Too simple. Wow, this is fascinating. What do we do here, though? I guess we just restart when we're ready. Stanley's office. Huh. Game design mock-up. Cool. What does that say? Employee... Employee Center. Okay. Chains? What do you got chains for? Ooh, the exit! Oh, we're going there. We are going there. Freedom ending. Okay, I did that one. Countdown desk. Don't remember that one. Countdown room. Okay. It's down here. Freedom ending. Okay. Boss's office. What's that looks interesting. Let's all right. Let's take the exit and see what happens. Oh, oh, we can we? What if we can hit a button? Button? Nope. Okay. Monitor room elevator. All right to the exits. <laughs> oh, look at these two! How they wish to destroy one another! How they wish to control one another! How they both wish to be free! Off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still oh. save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no, no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Ooh. That's brutal. Uh. Uh-huh. Is there anything going to happen? That, that's it. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you wait a really long time, if anything's going to happen. But I don't want to have to spend that time today. So, let's begin again. Ah. <laughs> uh... Today. It's getting hot. I need to turn the fan on. Okay, here we are, fresh. Fresh in a new game. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What Wait. did it look like? What? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Huh, okay. Well, that's different. That's good. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, 
hand, we gotta keep an eye out for differences, right? Always. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, you want to see the four-hour baby button? Wow. Okay. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh, this way to the baby room. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, yeah, I, wonder... I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Ooh. I'm not your enemy, I really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. <laughs> you someone someone you've been neglecting, hours. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? This is it, Ooh. Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. What's that say? May contain no information. <laughs> the sign may contain no information. That's amazing. What's, what's through here? Whoa, whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, those are uh, European sockets, I think. Definitely not American. Okay, let's do it. waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about Get your day. Oh, oh, geez. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Can't move? Okay, now I can move. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, let's do this. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, what? Good morning, employee 427. Press L on your keyboard. I'm gonna do it. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Eight. Look at him there, pushing buttons, oh, what? doing exactly oh. what he's told to do. Oh, dang. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm, I'm just going to do it. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. M to watch TV. Where's the TV? Okay. And so he began to fantasize oh. about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press 1 to spend time with the boys. Uh, so, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Seven. 
As he wandered through this ah. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. <laughs> Tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, <laughs> that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. So it's all in my mind, huh? Press I to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? No. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Why to go to sleep? And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Oh, what a choice. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing you it. See? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Eight to question nothing. <laughs> I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley He's pushed died. a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. <laughs> interesting. That's an interesting choice. So you can either <clears throat> choose to obey the game, which is disobeying the game, or you can choose to disobey the game, which is obeying the game. It's very, very well thought out. Very well. Paradox. All right. We'll call it a day for now. Smegbert, thanks for watching. Um, remember to subscribe or follow or whatever you do on Twitch. And uh, I'll uh, see you all next time.